as unreliable as paradoxical as perverse. There's only one single IBU, but nevertheless, it behaves as if there were billions. The IBU also knows that it invented the world and reality by itself, yet it still firmly believes that these hallucinations are real. The IBU could have dreamed an agreeable, unproblematic reality, but it insisted on imagining a miserable, brutish, and contradictory world. It has dreamed a reality in which it is constantly tormented by conflict, catastrophe, crisis. It's torn between ecstasy and boredom, between enthusiasm and deception, between tranquility and agitation, a lot of unnecessary complication. The IBU's external world is a continuing nightmare. Innervating dangers keep it caught between fear and heroism. All the while, it could end this ghastly theater by killing itself and disappearing forever. Since there's only one single IBU in the universe that it has dreamed up for itself, it has no care about surviving dependents, mourning friends, unpaid bills, etc. Its death would be absolutely without consequences. Nature, humanity, history, space, logic, everything disappears together with it. The IBU's toils are completely voluntary, and yet it affirms that it's only a powerless element of a greater reality. Why all of this self-deceit? Apparently, the IBU is in love with its own masochistic nightmare of torture. It has even protected this nightmare scientifically against nothingness. It defines dreams as unreal, so its nightmare becomes the dream of the unreality of dreaming. The IBU has locked itself into the reality trap. Natural laws, logic, mathematics, scientific facts, and social responsibilities form the walls of this reality trap. As the IBU insists upon dreaming its own powerlessness, power comes from exterior instances to whom the IBU owes its obedience. God, life, the state, morality, progress, welfare, the future, productivity. On the basis of these pretensions, it invents the sense of life, which it can never reach, of course. It feels constantly guilty and is kept in an unhappy tension in which it forgets itself and its power over the world. In order to prevent itself from recognizing itself and finding out the dream character of its reality, the idea has invented others. It imagines that these artificial beings are like itself. As in an absurdist drama, it entertains relations with them, loving or hating them, even asking them for advice or philosophical explanations. So it flees from its own consciousness, delegating to others in order to be rid of it. It concretizes the other IBUs by organizing them into institutions. Couples, families, clubs, tribes, nations, mankind. It invents society for itself and subjects to its rules. The nightmare is perfect. Only if there are accidental cracks in its dream world does the IBU deal with itself. But instead of terminating this perverse existence, the IBU pities itself, stays dead by remaining alive. This repressed suicide is displaced outwards to reality and returns from there back to the IBU in the form of collective apocalypse. apocalypse. Nuclear holocaust, ecological catastrophe, too weak to kill itself, the IBU looks to reality to do that for it. The IBU likes to be tortured, so it imagines wonderful utopias, paradises, harmonious worlds that of course can never be realized. These only serve to fix up the nightmare, giving the IBU stillborn hopes and instigating it to all kinds of political and economic enterprises, activities, revolutions, and sacrifices. The IBU always takes the bait of illusions or desires. It doesn't understand reason. It forgets that all worlds, all realities, all dreams, and its own existence are infinitely boring and tiresome, and that the only solution consists in retiring immediately into comfortable nothingness. Thank <laughs> you.
song. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. You're welcome anytime.